Yo, you okay? Have you ever dreamed about a chocolate bar that combines all your favorite ones in just one bar? Like having the ultimate chocolate bar. A giant version of it, so you can have it for more than just 4 bites or 2 if you're me. I don't know about you guys, but I'm sick of waiting for this to happen, so I decided to make my own today. As you might know, I'm a big fan of Lion Bars and I'm waiting from so long for them to make a dark chocolate version of the Lion Bar. Well, it's the series, made it, ate it and I'll make my own today. But I won't make just a dark chocolate Lion Bar. No, no, no. No. Today we are making the ultimate chocolate bar, the all stuffed. Lion bar. What do I mean with that? Let's find out. Hope you're ready guys, cause we're about to start making this ultimate stuffed lion bar, the dream chocolate bar. So here are the ingredients I'm gonna use today. We're gonna need 100 grams of white chocolate, 100 grams of milk chocolate, 100 grams of dark chocolate, 6 Oreos, 2 cookie dough Kit Kats, 1 white Snickers, those are about to disappear from the Bulgarian market, so this is probably one of the last ones you see on my channel for a while. And of course, for the ultimate land bar, we need land bar, land bar. So we have the original land bar and the peanut land bar, mini Reese's white chocolate cups, mini score bars, and last but not least, we're gonna use about 40 grams of M&M's crunchy and I may add something else but this will be only for decoration yet high calories. And of course to combine everything together we need a container or something to place them inside so I made this form which is from my old scale box so I cut it up and made this form and I put aluminium foil on top so the chocolate doesn't stick so let's get started with the construction this is gonna take a while the first thing we have to do is melt the milk chocolate and I don't have time so I'm gonna do it in the microwave just placing it inside for 15 seconds uh, stirring it up and if needed 15 more seconds until it gets to a smooth consistency so it should look like something like this. Now we're gonna spread the chocolate at the bottom. Like this. Over the chocolate while it's still hot, we're gonna add Oreos. We're gonna use five and the sixth one is gonna be for decoration. Now we're gonna leave it in the fridge for 15 minutes and in the meantime, we're gonna prepare the filling. Now on this weird shaped cutting board we're gonna cut up the chocolate bars so we're gonna start with the lions I guess Now this goes in the microwave for again 15 seconds stirring, 15 seconds stirring until it gets like a good mixture, like a good consistency and we gonna spread it on top of the first layer. So here's the base, as you see it's solid now, this will be so good. And here is the mixture we gonna add inside, this will be the filling of our chocolate bar, so we now we gonna spread it over top the Oreos and we're gonna leave just a little bit of space on the sides so we can top it with something else and now it doesn't look that appealing at the moment but trust me guys again try to spread it as evenly as possible so in each bite we have from everything why I'm telling you what to do when you're not gonna make it Anyways, so this giant poop looking like creation of mine is the filling of our chocolate bar. Now we're gonna add the Reese cups, 16 of them. This is done, now we're gonna add 40 grams of M&M's, just give me a second to measure it out. Believe it or not, this is 40 grams of M&M's. Now 
Ta-da! Well, I don't know how I managed to fit all of the M&Ms inside, but now this goes in the fridge for about 20 minutes to harden up and we're gonna cover it with dark chocolate and milk chocolate on both sides and we're gonna decorate it with a few things. And while we wait for the chocolate bar to harden up, why don't you give this awesome video a thumbs up and help the channel grow? Thank you so much! So here's the chocolate bar guys, I had to open it up so I can easily cover it with the melted white and dark chocolate and as you see we have one chopped up Oreo and a pack of Fruit Loops, this is still from the pack from Canada, I had two boxes of Fruit Loops, yeah now we only have to cover it and decorate it. Here is the melted, really hot, really hot, really hot white chocolate and now we're gonna cover one half of the bar with it wish me luck guys so far so good guys don't want to ruin it adding a few fruit loops here and there so I have quite a bit left and I'm gonna eat them later but now this goes in the fridge again to harden up and we're gonna add the dark chocolate. Let's finish this guys. So this is it guys, now I'm gonna leave it in the fridge to really really harden up and I'm going for a workout. This will be my post workout. Let's see if it's ready. Well we can't tell from this so let's take it out. Yup, ready for the challenge. Anybody interested how much this weighs? Let's check it out. This is it guys, we made it, we made the ultimate chocolate bar, the lion stuffed, all stuffed bar. Yeah, I made a package and I was going to pack the bar inside but it wouldn't really fit so I decided just to leave it like this so you know how it would look like in the stores if actually grocery stores sold this. I don't know how I'm gonna eat this, um, macros, calories, everything you need to know on the screen probably at the moment um, this is a lot of sugar guys and let's see if I can handle it so I suggest making a little test with both sides because one is dark chocolate one is white chocolate don't start with the white chocolate this is so heavy like look at this this is gonna be a messy challenge Oh my gosh, that's so good. I can't even describe it, guys. It's a bit hard, but... <laughs> 10 out of 10. Let's try the Oreo one. Oh my gosh. So many layers, flavors. Just look at this, guys. This part is the one. If you're making a 
dark chocolate lamb bar make this one that's it guys the ultimate chocolate bar the lion all stuffed chocolate bar <sighs> maybe this is gonna be a challenge or maybe not let's find out I was like it's about to go down hopefully my mom is not watching cuz she would never allow me to eat this I don't understand it why not just a piece of candy don't worry I'm gonna clean the floor after that maybe I've been making my moves on your lit lit your groove never fails to amaze me Halfway through guys, now it's time for my favorite part, the dark chocolate. I don't know about you guys, I think this went pretty smoothly, a little bit surprised, but hey, I don't mind it. So there you have it guys, made it, ate it, the ultimate chocolate bar, the all stuffed lime bar, delightful flavors, amazing macronutrient profile, I guess, I don't care about it, it's my cheat meal today. Hope you enjoyed it guys, if you did, make sure to Give a like to this video, I think it deserves it. This is the most awesome chocolate bar, believe me. Comment down below if you would try it, if you could eat the whole one like me, and what other chocolate bar would you add to the all stuffed lamb bar, except of the one that I used. Follow me on all social media, Snapchat, Instagram, MyFitnessPal, go ahead. I'm there and I'm gonna answer all of your questions and requests. Maybe not all, but most of them. Thanks for watching again and stopping by. After all, you could click on any other video, but you decided to click on my one. Maybe this helped. This helped. I mean, it was work to make the logo and the packaging. Even though I didn't put... Anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time, guys.